And I don't want to bring it up because I don't know if you're going to kick me out. I don't know if you're going to tell me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how you're going to react to me. You feel me? me catch your vibe, just take your time, just relax your mind. D royalty and i am back with another video y'all so today <laughs> i'm going to be talking about something that's interesting <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> oh my god Y'all, my voice is a little hoarse. Don't even mind it. So, I'm going to be talking about something interesting today. Like, I just want to see where everybody head at. <laughs> you feel me? Like, so, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it. Um, So, about mm, 22 hours ago. <laughs> about 22 hours ago, I asked my Instagram, my spam, and my regular page. Um, if you haven't, follow my IG pages, D.Royalty, but the O is a zero, and my spell. Hmm, that's only if you get accepted. <laughs> Y'all need to follow the spam. Only certain people, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so I had asked my Instagram, why do you think parents and their children don't get along? Hmm. Y'all need me to ask that again? Why do you think parents and their children don't get along? So, um, I put the thing where you can respond. And I was like, uh, I put the little response, little box in. And I was like, the best one, get cashed up. And I said, if you have a lot to say, just slide up. Because y'all know the response don't give you that much time to, you know, I mean, that much space to say what you got to say for real. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really not a simple question. You know, I know a lot of people, it get touchy and a lot of people got side to side. <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and read the responses. And at the end, I'm going to see which one was, you know, the best. Y'all get cashed out. But the first one I'm going to read is parents don't realize times have changed so opinions clash. I don't know if they meant crash or clash. Um, when I think clash. Parents don't realize times have changed so opinions clash. I think that is that is true. That is true. Times really have changed. Like, <laughs> times really have changed. Like, it's not like back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I mean, <laughs> I heard it was kind of strict back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know, but times did have changed. It's not, this is a whole new generation. That's not like back in the day, you know. <laughs> With the old people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, babies raising babies. You feel me? So just said um the next one is sometimes parents place their expectation on their kids instead of allowing them to be <laughs> huh? what that's crazy sometimes parents place their expectations on their kids instead of allowing them to be mm, okay I don't know about parents. They don't place no place their expectations. Expectations as in I don't I need more details like what type of expectations like I know basically what you expect. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Sometimes parents like expectation on their kids instead of allowing them to be. I think basically, like, 
you know, I expect you to do this, do this, do this, that way, that way. Okay, this is how I'm, this is how I'm thinking. Hopefully, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, not putting words in nobody's mouth. But this is how I'm thinking while I'm reading it. Oh, I expect you to do this, do that, do that, have that done, boom, 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 that, 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 that. Instead of allowing me to grow on my own as to be my own person. That's how I'm reading it. Like, you know. All right, so the next one says, because parents think they always right and they be wanting to live through their kids. Oh, right there. That's crazy. Because parents think they're always right and they be wanting to live through their kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. That's really crazy. Like, parents be really wanting to live through their kids. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? You want me to make the same mistakes that you made? You feel me? Or, you know what I'm saying? What you, like, what's, what's going on? You feel me? All right, the next one. <clears throat> Because parents think they know their child and never pay attention and never pay them attention enough for it. That's really the one. Like, just because you had your child and you know, all right, little things, like, as you see or as they tell you certain stuff, that don't mean, like, you know your child. You feel me? Like, <laughs> you feel me? That don't mean you know your child. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> Y'all not paying attention. Parents got to pay attention to their kids, no matter. Like, you feel me? Like, that's why some of them so shocked. That's why some of them so shocked. When they kids be getting pregnant so early, and they so shocked, like, not my child. No, you not. Why you ain't paying attention? So where every day they were staying after school, they'd find every way to stay out there activity. They was going there where they wanted to go because you was letting them. You ain't really, you know what I'm saying, you know. You sneaky. You, you know your child sneaky. Come on now, you got to pay attention like as parents. Look at my traits. If I was a parent, I'm looking at my traits and I'm looking at my, you know what I'm saying, the baby father traits. <laughs> Look at that day daddy traits. Come on now, y'all, I mean, admit it, you know, sneaky, liar, stubborn, pay attention. Like, what you think you're going to make a perfect child? Nah, that ain't, nah, <laughs> that ain't. Stuff, genetics, it really transfers, like, through your kids. Not saying your kids is split image of you, but I'm telling you, like, you know, <sighs> be crazy, you be crazy. Pay attention to your kids. Pay attention. It ain't even all about the bad things. It ain't even all about the bad things. You ain't got to pay attention to every time they doing something wrong. Pay attention to when they doing something good. You know what I'm saying? My child sitting here making a, a, um, A's and B's every year. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to stuff like that. You know? Not just always bad stuff. You know? Mm. Next person said communication. Communication. That's what... I ain't going to say that's what everybody, but that's, that's just, I don't know. Seem like nowadays in this generation, everybody have communication problems. It really do. When you go on social media and you be looking at quotes and stuff, it's, it deals with communication. Nobody knows how to communicate. Yeah, a lot of parents, parents sometimes, they don't know how to, they don't know how to communicate. They rather for you to, oh, say, as, uh, you know, say, do as I say, like. You know what I'm saying? Do it. Say if, like, you want your kids um, to wash the dishes um, to wash the dishes at night before they go to bed. Instead of saying, oh, have them dishes done before you go to bed. Or uh, or whatever. What's ever going to happen if it ain't done and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They be having attitudes automatically. Like, dang. Like, you know, you feel me? It's, you know what I'm saying? You still got to be polite. Just because that's your child. I mean, you could treat them any type of way or talk to them any type of way. Just say, hey, uh, such and such. Uh, hey, such and such. You know, would you mind getting the dishes before you go to bed? All right. That's the when you when you talk to your kids in like a calm voice like in a calm voice in a polite way now oh do it do it that's that's gonna make me like that's gonna make them irritated like i don't even want to do these dishes like you know what i'm saying and then sometimes you know 
it ain't even about a lot of people hate doing dishes. But it's like when you come and approach the fact that some people already hate doing dishes. <laughs> and it's just like you sit there and had them dishes done. Yeah, do this, do that, do that. No, just all you gotta say is, you know, you know, everybody help clean out the table. Blase, blase, you know. Would you mind doing the dishes before you go to bed? Alright. Now you wake up and them dishes still here. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, cuz, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, demands are always not needed. Uh, next one is, uh, parents don't listen nor have respect for their children and expect for them to respect them. Respect. <laughs> That's really the one. They don't listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you one thing you're telling me because you feel like you've been in my situation multiple times. Okay, we two different people. You know what I'm saying? We're dealing with two different people in the situation. Not everybody had that same character like you did 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? It's way rough out here nowadays, you know? Way rougher. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh... It's that Lord have respect for their children. <sighs> Parents don't have respect for their kids. I feel like, yeah. A lot, like I was saying, like, parents, they just make more demands instead of just talking to them. It's easy to sit there and just, you know, just talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, don't have always have to do demands. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. You don't always have to do demands. Like, you don't respect me. I'm I'm your child, but like respect me. Like I be telling my mom all the time. Like certain like stuff be going on, whatever the case is. Like the older I got, I became like so private. I became so private, like not like so private. Don't nobody know what I'm doing. But it's like, um, what is it called? What am I trying to say? Certain stuff don't everybody don't have don't need to know that. I be telling her, like, girl, stop telling everybody my business. You feel me? Like, <laughs> everybody be thinking that's so funny. I be telling anybody, my friends, family, I don't care who is. Stop talking about this. Like, you know, chill. You know? <laughs> but, yeah, I be telling her, stop telling my business. You don't need to call all these people just to, you know? Not all these people, but you don't need to, you know, say everything of what I told you, you know, to the next person. Especially like if you don't, you know, talk to me or you, you know what I'm saying, you don't deal with me. If you don't hear it from me, then yeah. Cause what are you having a conversation about me for? You feel me? Um <clears throat> but yeah, parents need to have more respect for their kids. You know what I'm saying? Like nah, that's where disrespect comes in. And it makes us feel some type of way. Now we gotta act in a certain way. Now we add now we all um irritated, we mad because you know what I'm saying, you you know what I'm saying, you bugging, like you wilding. <laughs> you really wilding. You know what I'm saying? And have respect for me, just like I have respect for you. Cause the more you don't have respect for me, as to be your child, especially like if you come in from, you know what I'm saying, when you become 18, 19, you know, you get up age, certain stuff, like, you know what I'm saying, have respect. You know, I have respect for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> this next one uh, said, they. <laughs> He's stupid. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to mind their business sometimes. Parents try to get too involved in their children's lives. They don't know boundaries, their boundaries as a parent. Ooh. All right. All right, let's start with the first one. They don't know how to communicate. Like I said, like I said before, um, it's all about communication. Just, just talk to, just talk to your kids. Like, talk to them. No matter how older they get, I don't care if they, you know, what I'm saying they out your house and they on their own. 
Blase, Blase got their own place, car, whatever the case is. You know, you know what I'm saying? Just chill, bro. My parents can't be, you know what I'm saying? Chill. Hold on. Hello? 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 Hey, what's up, Jeff? Oh, this is Jeff! Hey, what's up, Jeff? What's up? <laughs> I said, yeah, I told myself, I was like, yeah, I'm going to come home and, and tell stories on YouTube. My, my prison stories. Oh, my gosh. I would love to hear those. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got nothing going on. Same old, same old. Right. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna start calling it. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right, love you. All right, love you too. All right. Y'all, free my cousin, bro. Free my cousin. I didn't even know who that was. But anyways, y'all, back to this. Uh, like I said, he said he don't, they don't know how to communicate. All right, boom. They they don't know how to mind their business sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about what you said. <laughs> I'm telling you what you said. They don't know how to mind their business sometimes. That's really the one. <laughs> That's really the one. Okay, this can this go along with it. Parents try to get too involved in their children's lives. Yeah. You feel me? Like <laughs> You feel me? Like we already don't, you know what I'm saying, click like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Why is you bugging like where and where I'm going? You know what I'm saying? Like You feel me? Like I'm grown. I can go where I wanna go then come back. You know what I'm saying? That's just don't try to get too involved in my life. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. And don't do too less. So they boundaries as a parent. Wow. That's so crazy. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to say on that. They don't know they boundaries as a parent. Um yeah like it goes with the respect part they feel like they could just cross certain stuff like you know i'm speaking of like it's my age like now i'm 19. all right so this one uh, this one said definitely has something to do with trauma and how their parents treated them also the fact that our parents see a lot of them in us so we're going to bump heads I feel like that is true. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, say if like you grew up without no parents. Say you don't know how it feels to have a mom or a dad. Or if you grew up with one parent. Like if you just grew up with just your mom. Or if you just grew up with just your dad. Or if you grew up with both same parents. And they came from backgrounds in a single household. Or a crazy, you know. I don't know. If they see, you know what I'm saying, if you a parent, you see, you know, your child, like, say you was doing the same thing, um, like, say if you start, y'all start smoking around the same age, and you was smoking around the same age, now your child doing it, you gonna, you gonna feel like, like, dang, that's really, that was really me at their age, I can't get mad at them, but I'm gonna get mad at them because I don't want them to keep doing it, I don't want to keep messing up their lives, or, you know what I'm saying, Sometimes parents be flipping too. All right, the next one say, well, well I'm gonna say this. I feel like I never really got along with my parents because they was more worried about how they felt. God thought I should be raised and loving me how they should. Yes, I believe God. Yes, I believe God should always be first. But I also feel that you can't be tough or raise your child exactly like the Bible if they if you know you didn't go that path yourself <laughs> i believe in god and i was um a church girl all my life 
Of course, you know, especially the scripture, honor thy mother and thy father, that your days may be upon the um, land. Mm, Lord, don't let me mess up that scripture. Of course that, you know, especially, okay, so I feel like she had religious parents. So, uh, especially if they religious parents, they know. Like, they're not crazy. It's, you, it's going to be different for you because it's like, yeah, you got to live right. You know, you got to live right. You got to live for God at the end of the day. I just feel like parents that are religious, they want, they so like, they get stronger because they want you to live right. They want you to live by, you know, by God and stuff like that. They want to, they want to go by the Bible because maybe like, the parents, they still grow at their self. They're still growing their self. You know, just because they have their kids don't mean they was ready to have a child. Don't mean they was mature enough to have a child. That don't mean they fully, like, grow, especially if they, you know, grow spiritually. They take, you know, uh, parent classes and stuff like that. But I also feel that you can't be so tough on raising your child exactly like the Bible if you know you didn't go to path, that path down yourself. So I feel like she's saying that her parents weren't so religious all day. So, but now you're raising me. You're raising me exactly like, you know, what the Bible says. Like I was saying, like, yeah, she come from a religious household. Yeah, a lot of parents, they raised di differently than... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They must have didn't grow up in the church. And then when they got older and stuff like that, they start going to church, learning the word, blase, blase. And then it's like, now I see, you know, God for who he really is. And he's touching me. And I'm learning the Bible. I'm learning the word. I'm growing spiritually. Now I got to put this on my kids. I got to sit there and teach them. I got to train up. I got to train them up. That's another scripture. Train them up. Train up the child the way they should go. Uh, so they won't depart from me. Mm, I hope I ain't messed that scripture up either. But <laughs> I'm going to put that below. Yeah, train up a child, you know. And another one was like, you know, remember God in your youth. So I feel like, you know, okay. That's, um, I'm all, all over the place because it's a lot to say. But, um, yeah, they just probably, they want you to live right. They want you to live by God and stuff like that. It seems tough, but it's like when you get older, when you get older and more into your word, you know, you go to church and stuff like that, you realize, like, what they say, especially when you get older and they get really, 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 really tough out here. It's like, dang, it's going to come back to you. You're going to remember that, like. My parents, they were so tough for me. They wanted me to be obedient. They want me to, uh, they wanted me to uh, not lie. They want me not steal. They want me to do this. It's because, you know, they want you to live, you know, by God. You know what I'm saying? It's not always they want you to live by them as to be your parent, but they want to, you know, put the word in you. So you won't forget you have something. Next one is say, D, I've been waiting to talk about it. <laughs> some parents who are semi-absent feel as if their child should be reaching out to them every day or every other day to communicate the whole time the parents should be doing the reaching out they had us we ain't have them also parents feel as if their child shouldn't have a say so for instance anytime you have a rebuttal or try to prove a point it's considered disrespectful Whole time the parents just always want to be right, which they are. Which they are. Them being the parent or the adult makes them think that it's okay to feel like such. Some parents don't want their child to grow up, so they restrain them from doing certain stuff. As simple as going out with their friends is always a no, no, no. At some point, a child should be able to to make simple decisions of their own as long as it's safe and last. Oh, as long as it's safe and last, but not least, mothers treat their sons way better than their daughters. Daughters never really got congratulated or talked about when doing such a, when doing good such as graduating or passing all their finals or getting a new job. It's always just, okay, 
but then let their son do something a clean. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, it said it's okay, but <laughs> it's okay. Oh my god, I got tears in my eyes. I'm so weak. It's okay. It's always okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carrie. <laughs> Cause I can hear her voice, bro. It's always just okay, but let the let the son do something. Uh, cl like clean a nasty a room, and now she want to take him to Atlanta for a shopping spree. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my eyeballs hurt. Oh my god, y'all, I'm so weak. Hold on, cause wait. <laughs> wait. Hold on, wait, because y'all hold on. She said, she said, <clears throat> she said, okay, let me read this part. Daughters never really got congratulated or talked about when they're doing such when they doing good, such as graduating or passing on their finals or getting a new job. It's always just okay. But let their son do something to clean that nasty a room. Now she wanna take him up to Atlanta for a shopping spree. <laughs> I could go on. I'm so no because y'all that that's really that really is true. I okay, so y'all that's really crazy. Um uh, Ooh, that was really long. Okay. That okay, let me see like from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, I feel like as a parent you should reach out to your child, like call them, you know, text them or like have a good day, make sure you be safe. You know, whatever the case you know what I'm is, if your child has a phone, they going to school every day, or, you know, they're going to work. I don't care if they're going to hang out with their friends. Go have fun. Be safe. You're in school. Make sure you stay off your phone. Make sure you learn something. Make sure you get this done, did that, done, that, that, that. Well, don't just every day, like, you know, tell them you love them, like, every day. Some, some, um, some people, like, don't get to hear that from their parents all the time. Like, I love you. I want you to have a great day. You know what I'm saying? I love you. Go be great today. Go make some money today or uh, pass that test today. Or may I want to see, um, you know, I want to see something good on your report card. You know, I need you to be listening. Whatever the case is, you know, just good reinforcement. No, like, you know, every time something bad goes on, that's when you react. But you know what I'm saying? Even in the good times, you know, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't say nothing. Like, it's just, oh, all right. Whatever the case is. But, uh, yeah, like, a child shouldn't have a say-so. Parents feel like a child should have a say-so. That is, yeah, your kids have, your, your kids have feelings. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're adult now, they have feelings. As a child, they have feelings. If they say, "Mommy, I don't, mommy, I don't want pizza. I want chicken nuggets." Get them some chicken nuggets. Like, get them some chicken nuggets. Like, they don't want pizza. You feel me? It ain't even about being picky. It ain't even about, you know what I'm saying? Now you mad because they sit at the table not eating. You know what I'm saying? They say, "Mommy, I don't want pizza. I want chicken nuggets." Go get them some chicken nuggets. <laughs> All right, so then. Uh, yeah, then when you, you know what I'm saying, when you try to prove your point, okay, yeah, like she was saying, when you try to prove your point, y'all have a conversation like, I'm acting like this because it is this, that, or I feel like, you know, this, now you're being disrespectful, you coming as wrong, but when you was coming at me, and I'm trying to help you, I'm trying to have that communication with you, I, it may not always come out right as, or as sound respectful as you want it to, but it's like, Ha, like, ha, like, I can't, like, what? <laughs> Chill, like, I mean, I, I, I'm going to just have to say it. No matter how it comes out, as a parent, you should say, I don't like the way how that came out. I feel like, you know, you know, come on, let's sit down and talk about it. I don't care if it's something small, like, let's talk about it. Okay, I hear what you're saying understand them understand on both sides before I even it's crazy because I, i've been doing this like for a good minute now 
I understood, like, even as a child, like, growing up, as a child and up to now, I always see it off of both sides. You know, why they're treating me like this? Maybe they're treating me because like this or, you know, why am I feeling this way? Am I doing something wrong? Now you start questioning yourself. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's just, yeah, you feel like you're the parent or, you know what I'm saying, you the dog. See, as you can hear, you could have said it in a better voice, in a better way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But, yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? Your kids should have a say-so sometimes, too. Like, simple things. What do you want to eat tonight? Not, oh, I set this in front of the, at the table. You gonna eat it and don't get up until it's done. You know, that's that stuff from back in the day. That That's... That's how abuse start, like that mental abuse start. Cause then what if they start to accept it? Oh no. What if they start to accept it, you know, from their friends, from their boyfriend, girlfriend, like, you know, that's how that sip start. When they start sipping, like being a sip for somebody. Yeah. Cause it's like, I've been dealing with that so long in my household. Like now I feel like I gotta do it. If I don't do that, they're gonna be upset. They're gonna do this. What? Now don't just be so. You know what I'm saying? You should know. You should know your kid. That's the thing. Paying attention. Paying attention. Communication. You know. If you see they always flipping out, like I said, back to the piece of the chicken. Now you see how they always flipping out. You put pizza in front of them. Now, they can't be sitting there as a child. Ooh, mommy, I want red lobster. They flipping out because they ain't getting no red lobster. They flipping out because they ain't get. Now you wild and you big tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. <laughs> you feel me? You know? And then, um, wow, this is a lot. So. Yeah, they don't want them to grow. Now that they doing, you know, much better. They getting a job. They getting their own money. They're, you know, they get by their own clothes and shoes, or they buy, they get their own hair done, their own haircut, they own blase, blase, like, you know, they start growing, getting things on their own, it's like, and that was like, oh, you're too grown, or, nah, maybe, it, it, maybe it's kind of, hand. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> parents be scared for their kids to grow up, you know what I'm saying, they want them to keep them under their shell for so long. Nah. Okay. Just like going out with the friends. Uh, so now I'm talking in the teenager area. Because once you 18, you shouldn't even have to ask your parents, Mommy, can I go out with my friends? Because, huh? You know what I'm saying? Even as I'm like my age, like, you know what I'm saying? What? I'm going out with my friends. I'll be back. <clears throat> or whatever. But when you're a teenager, all right, like, <clears throat> parents, that's why some parents, some parents are not stupid because so we could get sneaky. Parents not stupid. We could get sneaky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We get sneaky too. And then now, now we mad. Oh, we plan to go to movies tonight. Oh, our friends, ooh, mommy, my best friend's supposed to be there no the whole time. We do a triple date, double, double date. You feel me? Like, <laughs> now we mad because now we got to tell our nigga, like, <laughs> I can't even go. Mom tripping, you know what I'm saying? She want to meet everybody there. You feel me? Like, now we mad. That comes, it be us too. They're always the parents. Ooh, that thing had me crying. Hold on, because I can't wait to get to it. Uh, All right. Just as the, the mothers, the mothers, the sons and daughters, it feel like it's always a competition. Not a competition. Ain't no competition with me. But um, it's, it's always like a competition. Daughters always feel like the sons get treated better. I mean, it's obviously, I feel like it's obviously it's true because, like, there's, I don't know, I feel like the moms just don't be seeing their daughters as, I don't know. They be seeing them and their daughters, and I guess they just, I don't know, be disgusted. I don't even know. But, yeah, they sons do get treated way better, no cap. 
Mothers will treat mothers will feed their sons before they feed their daughters. No cap. I lie to you not. Mothers will definitely feed their sons before their daughters. Jordan never really got congratulated. <laughs> She said, as soon as that son clean that nasty A room, I should want to take her to Atlanta. <laughs> For a shopping spree, no cap. That really, that really is. You know, that's really crazy life that if you do that, like, prayer, like, that clean that room now, you want to take her to all the way to Atlanta. It don't even matter about, it doesn't even matter about, if parents always say, all of my kids equal, all of my kids equal. Stop the cap. Like, you're not going to admit it to us because you don't want our feelings to hurt, but we know because your actions, based off, you'll see who got a good relationship in the house. Now, none of the kids got a good relationship with you. It's you the problem. There's no way, like, you can just sit in the house. I've been on that for a minute, but that's a happy, happy week. The next one said, uh, the next one says, uh, most parents really don't pay attention to their kids, but most of them that actually do don't know how to get their kids to express their feelings instead they block out their kids feelings with other things and they always say they understand what they're going through they might understand it but it's still a communication um uh, probably would explain it what the problem is but with some kids find hating find hating their parents way easier than talking about the real issue is a lack of love and attention Nako love has a B. <laughs> I hope this makes sense. I don't care. I was sitting here reading like, huh? I was sitting here reading like, okay, you were high. Stop smoking while talking to me and responding to my stuff. Because <laughs> I was been reading like, huh? Okay, but I, I feel where you coming from. It's like, um, I think I kind of know what he's talking about. I feel like um, he said most parents don't pay attention, but when they do, when it's time to get them to express their feelings, how what's really going on, it's kind of hard because it's like we never got that from the beginning. We never got that from the beginning. Or maybe it's too strong for our parents to know. Or sometimes it's, you know, it's hard for our parents to know. Like say if you're suicidal, say if like you're going through a breakup, or something like that. It's hard to come to your parents about that because it's like, I don't want to open up, you know, about that because maybe it's too deep for me. Maybe it's too deep for my mind. Or sometimes, you know, we think about our parents too. Like our parents, oh, they going to put us in the hospital. They're going to take us to go get some medicine. They're going to call somebody, you know, everybody, whatever case is, um, or whatever. And that's just, yeah, they block out their kids' feelings with other things, and they always say they understand what you're going through. Yeah, when parents say, like, I understand what you're going through. I was just like you when I when I was your age. Sweetie, you don't understand. Like, you're not understanding. You said that you understand because you try to make me feel comfort, like, but that's just, no. I, what are you understanding that I'm, that I, what I'm going through? I need you to break that down. You feel me? Like, I need you to break that down. What are you... What are you understanding? What are you understanding? Are you just saying that to comfort me? Or you saying that for the hair to get me out of the room? <laughs> I mean, you saying that. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what's going on. What is making you feel like that? Who is hurting you? Who is hurting you? Are you just feeling alone? Are you feeling... Or, you know what I'm saying? Now it's time, especially if you know your kids going through, because suicide really is going up in this generation, depression and stuff. That's the really the time I'm taking you out to eat. We going to talk. Like, I'm sorry, but you, you know, tell me everything, even if it's me. Tell me, like, what am I doing wrong? Because why, that's it, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of sad. Parents on the other side, too, like I said, like, I understand from both point of views parents you know they be like oh my god my child's suicidal like what happened like you know did somebody hurt him did somebody say something wrong or they feeling alone are they feeling discouraged like what's going on but it's their job to sit down and have an open con even after that conversation 
You have to check in on them all the time. All the time. I don't care. They smile and laugh and, hey, you know, boo, you good? I love you. I want you to have a great day. You know, don't just keep saying that you're here. You have to show that you're there. You know, you have to show that you're there. Come on. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Um, you know, we're going to talk. Keep talking to him after you talk to him. Keep talking to him. Show that you, you know what I'm saying? Maybe do something for your kids. Go buy them a pair of shoes, some clothes. Get a balloons in the car. Set it in their room. By the time they get home, they see it. They're like, oh, wow, you know, it make me feel a little better. You know what I'm saying? Not just, oh, you need to go get some medicine. You need to go get help. You need to go get this. You got to figure out what's the problem before you go ahead. You know, some parents cry too. I no cap. Some parents really cry. And it's because they try to figure out why they child so depressed or why they child so suicidal. Part of it is crazy because as us, we don't want to tell them that half of it is you. Half of it is you. And I don't want to bring it up because I don't know if you're going to kick me out. I don't know if you're going to tell me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how you're going to react to me. You feel me? So I feel like, okay. Um, yeah, like the lack of love and attention. <sighs> yeah, that's just crazy. That's so crazy. You got to show your kids unconditional love. Like, that's why it's so important to have a relationship with God because you got to understand, like, we humans, parents go through too. They go through too. What if they is traumatized by something? What if they, you know, sit, they can still be up a up age, uh, past fifty, past forty, you know what I'm saying? And they still not getting the pair skills that they're supposed to get. You know what I'm saying? They need to uh, go to class or something, a parent class. So, <laughs> but I'm saying like, what if they, you know, lost something? What if they lost a lot lack of love in their parents? How are they supposed to deal with that? When their parents, either their parents gone or their parents still here, and they still don't have a good relationship with their parents. You feel me? So, the next one is, parents think their kids are going to do the S that they did when they were younger. So, they try and shelter them and not give them freedom. So, they do, don't have to go through what they went through. When the child gets older and develop their own mind of their own, they rebel and the parent doesn't like that, which causes a conflict between them. Say if like, yo, you, you know, as a parent, when you was younger, you got, you know, abused, sexually abused, mental abused, physically abused, and stuff like that. That's why I kind of understand why parents be acting the way they do act. Because it's like, I don't want my child to go through the same thing. But it's like, I can't tell my child the real thing. Because if I tell my child the real thing, they're going to look at me. And it's just like, they're going to be like, no, nah, that would never happen to me. But you don't understand where it can come from. So they try to, like, shelter you, like, stick close by you. Like, no, I don't want you to go. You know, what if something happened to them at the movie theater? Where, you know, they got raped or something. They got... I don't know, they about to get kidnapped or something. They probably kind of said, like, nah, I don't want them to go out, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, to the, I don't want them to go out to the movies, you know, I'm still kind of a little iffy about that. Or say if, like, you, when you was with your friends, say if, like, your parents were with their friends and they was younger, they got into a car accident or something. Nah, I don't want you to ride with them. Y'all only 16, y'all only 17, you know, y'all haven't been driving for that long. That's how I understand where parents be coming from about that. That's just, that's just how I feel. But, yeah, you still, at the end of the day, that's why you raise your child. You raise your child, right? And that's why your child, when they in situations, certain situations, you'll be the first one they call. They better call Jesus first. But you'll be the, you know, the one that call, like, Mommy, come get me. Like, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Mommy, come get me. Like, I was, you know what I'm saying? I was at a party. They started shooting on they. You know what I'm saying? Parents, I'm coming to get you right now. Like, you know, stay where you at. Turn on your location, whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, at the end of the day, your kids still have to live. Your kids still have to live their own life because if you try to hide everything from them or block block them or shelter them, especially, like, the shelter, if you shelter them too much, like I said, when they get older, they're going to want to do everything. Then they're going, oh, that's why I like. 
she ain't want me to go there, so she ain't want me to do this, that, 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 whatever the case is. So the next one, um, always want to say they understand or done it all before. Look at us like we dumb as as for doing it. Always say they understand. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. The next one is the trauma from their childhood still lives in them from their parents. It gotta be. Yeah. Parents, uh, parents try to live through their kids. Think their mistakes will be ours. Some people just a fit to parent. Yeah. Yeah. Miscommunication. That goes with, you know, whatever, you know, we was talking about. That's crazy. The one that's going to get cashed up is, uh, that long one with the one I was laughing about <laughs> with the son cleaning a uh, nasty room that she take it to him and let him for a shopping spree no cap that's really the one but are y'all just the end of it I thank you guys for responding to me on Instagram y'all if y'all have not go ahead and subscribe to me go ahead and like comment and share if you want to but um and follow me on um Instagram D dot royalty but the always is there she got a bitch in like a Sunday. She never wanna let you Thursday.